Look, thanks, thanks very much for coming. Uh, I've called this press conference um, as a result of concerns that I've got as, as the head of the State Drug Investigation Unit um, over some, some um, misinformation that's been getting around about uh, so-called legal highs or fake weed. And this has been referring to uh, synthetic cannabinoids in particular. And uh, it's actually, um, the information is inaccurate. There's um, legislation in a number of jurisdictions, in particular Queensland, and this, this uh, synthetic cannabinoids is potentially very, very harmful if um, ingested by persons and uh, short-term and long-term health effects. And certainly people that um, use or possess these items or, for that matter, supply these items to other people face very real risks of prosecution for serious criminal offences. Today we seized uh, about uh, approximately 1.8 kilos, or just over 1.8 kilos of synthetic cannabinoids. We've also seized um, 172 pills. Um, value of that, that seizure today is approximately $55,000. However, we've been conducting investigations since uh, early October, and where we were targeting a, a distributor, a business involved in distributing these drugs to various other persons in Queensland, including uh, a number of retail stores and uh, we've seized approximately 100 kilos since that investigation commenced. So that's becoming increasingly common, this, this type of drug? Look, certainly um, you know, persons, are, you know, in, persons involved in criminal enterprises are looking for opportunities to develop new synthetic drugs, particularly synthetic type drugs, um, to avert legislation or laws that are in, are in different jurisdictions. It's an ongoing problem for police. Um, a number of the jurisdictions, including Queensland, were very proactive and laws were, uh, our, our government introduced laws in September, on the 9th of September, and again some further amendments to the drugs misuse regulations on the 11th of September this year also. Has anyone been charged in relation to today's seizures? Look, I must say at the outset that um, we've intentionally not uh, uh, attempted to charge any person at this stage. We want to get these substances or these, this material that we've seized today analysed and uh, get the uh, precise information about what it contains. That's one thing about the synthetic cannabinoids and synthetic drugs that I really want to warn people about. A lot of these companies that are supplying these have, have a, uh, a list of items that it doesn't contain or allegedly doesn't contain, and even the producers in China and places like that that are bringing these into the country, they'll often attach a certificate saying this is what it contains. Now, analysis of some of the drugs that have been seized that have come through the border have shown that these certificates aren't true, they're false. They do contain illicit substances, uh, quite a number of them, and the 100 kilos of product that we have seized, the majority of those, those seizures have got illicit compounds or illicit substances uh, and do come within the definition of a dangerous drug under the Drugs Misuse Act. So certainly we will be looking at launching prosecutions in relation to those previous seizures. The seizures today, obviously, we need to get our forensic chemists to analyse them and provide us with the, um, the expert advice in relation to their their uh, structure and their uh, content. You said there were homes or businesses. Where did you find this? Um, a business was set up. It was previously set up in Western Australia. And Western Australia moved um, and brought in a number of uh, laws over there previously. And this company, I, I believe, was, was operating in Western Australia also. They, they set up on the Gold Coast. Uh, and as I said, in early October, we've executed a number of search warrants and conducted investigations and seized approximately 100 kilos or equivalent to 100 kilos of end product. The raids, the raids that you conducted today, though, were they conducted at businesses in Brisbane and the Gold Coast? Or That's, it's it's um, businesses in Brisbane and the Gold Coast predominantly. Um, obviously, it's very timely, and, and like I say, the misinformation that was getting out, I thought, was quite irresponsible, um, particularly leading into uh, an event such as schoolies. And I think it's very timely to, to reinforce that these, these substances, and, and a lot of the people that have been supplying these substances, have described them to people who have entered the stores as stronger than cannabis, um, having hypnotic effects um, and even comments such as um, they were trying to obtain more stock leading into schoolies. That's very, very um, disturbing and disappointing. But I must also say that a number of the stores we did visit today have already removed them from their, from their, um, their stock, which was, um, which was very pleasing to see also. What kind of businesses were they? Uh, look, I don't really want to uh, talk generally about businesses. There's a number of different small retail outlets that have been stocking these items. No, certainly not pharmacies, not licensed pharmacies. Um, these, you know, that's the difference between these substances. When you go to a pharmacy, it's manufactured by a, you know, a, a recognised and respected manufacturer. It's got a list of the contents that are on there and it can be substantiated. 
Um, there's certain standards that are used, and the people, you know, these these um, products, plant material, inactive plant material is often sprayed with um, chemical compounds, or the chemical compound is infused into the plant material, and no one really knows, except the person who does it, what those compounds contain, whether they're poisons, whether they're highly toxic chemical compounds, and we have had instances where people have suffered from various um, illnesses and conditions, heart palpitations, vomiting, um, you know, high blood pressure, the like, from using synthetic cannabinoids. How many businesses did you see strokes from today? Look, there was approximately um, uh, 12 businesses visited on the Gold Coast today, um, and there's also uh, other businesses visited at different times. Uh, with information, uh, people have contacted the police themselves from different businesses ma making inquiries. Uh, there were a number of businesses visited in, uh, in Brisbane, and there's also businesses being visited over the last few days in places like Townsville, Emerald. There was a seizure in Emerald yesterday. Um, you know, a lot of the regional police, and I, and I do want to stress this is not something that the, the state drug squad is doing alone. The regional police are, are also being very proactive with this, and um, you know, uh, Mackay, Townsville, Cairns, and, and certainly the Sunshine Coast as well. Is there any evidence that these synthetic drugs are being manufactured in Australia? Or are they Look, we did have information about um, one person that was allegedly doing that. Um, we haven't been able to substantiate that, that, that at this time. The majority of the um, substances we're detecting are uh, being brought into the country from um, uh, other uh, jurisdictions. And um, like I said before, people need to understand they're taking a very real risk, both for, both for their personal health uh, and also in terms of um, they're leaving themselves open to um, serious prosecution uh, for criminal offences uh, if they believe some of the the uh, propaganda that's on these um, on these packages and on the information that comes with them. Has anyone actually been charged? Yeah, I know you said that you're not intentionally charging anyone yet until you can analyse um, what you've seized. But has anyone been charged yet in Queensland? Look, there was one. There was one person charged um, there. Uh, I think about a week or two ago with a, a package that came in. I think it was um, several kilos of, of powder because uh, it can come in uh, already sprayed, already infused in the plant material, but it can come in its raw material, as in a raw um, composition as a powder, and then be broken down into a liquid to be um, infused or put into a capsule or, or, a, or also a tablet. And, and we did see some tablets today that purport to be um, synthetic, ex synthetic ecstasy or, or other types of drugs as well. There, do these products have names or are they known? on the street by certain names? Or? Look, the original product that came out was, I think everyone would recall, was Chronic. Um, the people that are making these obviously realised Chronic was, there was legislation brought in to, to, um, to ban Chronic, particularly in relation to a number of jurisdictions. They do change the names of these, but a lot of the time the chemical compound or structures don't change uh, dramatically. We've also got provisions in, in our um, Drugs Misuse Act under the definition of uh, dangerous drug, which extends that definition to something that is structurally uh, similar um, in, in terms of chemical compound and also has similar pharmacological effects. And as we've seen, some of the uh, marketing uh, adv advertisements that we see from the business distributing this was, was clearly marketing it, saying it's stronger than cannabis and, and uh, you know, talks about the effects of it. So um, a lot of the people that are involved in this know the, uh, the effects that these, these substances can have on people. and. Um, and certainly, um, I think we, that's, that's the message we want to get out. They are very, very dangerous. And we want to certainly tell the parents that are out there that with their, their school leavers and their, their, uh, their children are going to events like schoolies and other uh, entertainment events that we're doing everything we can to remove these dangerous substances from the street and certainly from um, uh, being distributed or a chance for them to take possession of them. Yeah? More visits this week. Look, um, certainly uh, police, and we've had, we, we've put out some bulletins as a result of recent um, misinformation to uh, the whole police across Queensland, and we've had a lot of uh, contact with um, the state drug squad, and uh, I would, I would uh, suspect that uh, regional police and also um, detectives will continue to, um, to target people that are involved in possessing or, um, or distributing these substances. What misinformation is that? Uh, I believe that they're not as harmful or... Well, legal. legal highs, fake weed, um, and yeah, like uh, clearly the, the the nearly 100 kilos of product that we've seized, we have a statement and an analysis certificate from the forensic chemist to say that is a dangerous drug. So, you know, you can't ha you can't be more sure than that. This is you went to on the Gold Coast today. Do you believe they were specifically targeting schoolies? Uh, some of them were definitely. We know from information received from people entering those stores 
that they made comment about uh, they were trying to source source um, uh, more of the products, particularly specifically for schoolies. And is it just synthetic cannabinoids, and also the, you mentioned the synthetic ecstasy? Well, there's talk about synthetic ecstasy, synthetic cocaine. Um, certainly, we're, we're concerned about those substances also because the the idea of saying they're synthetic cocaine is that they're going to mimic the effects of cocaine, and we know that cocaine has and and uh, ecstasy have um, very potentially very dangerous uh, effects and, and side effects for health. Do you have a message for, for school leavers that are going to be down on the Gold Coast this weekend? Certainly. The message is um, don't be fooled by anyone that tells you these are legal or they are, that they are, they are, they're not harmful. Um, and my advice to you is stay, stay clear of these substances. Um, police, police have traditionally had a very, um, uh, a very successful uh, schoolies event and I, I don't expect this one to be any different. Um, enjoy yourselves. Don't uh, take any risks in, with your personal health, or even risks with, um, in terms of, uh, you know, committing offences uh, with, with um, dangerous substances. You said no one's been charged yet, but um, after these drugs are tested, do you expect that? Do you have any idea how many people could be charged if um, it is confirmed that they are in fact synthetic drugs? Look, it wouldn't be appropriate to. Um, to preempt that at the moment. Um, certainly if, if all of those substances come back that we seize today, um, come back to be illicit, illicit uh, drugs or substances, we'd, we'd need to conduct some further investigations in relation to um, uh, substantiating those offences and, and we will do that if, if that's the case. So how many, I'm trying to ascertain how many people you're talking to at the moment, how many people are involved in this? Look, um, as I said before, specifically the drug squad and, uh, and the Gold Coast, there was uh, approximately 12 premises that were visited today. Um, there were also um, a number of premises visited in the Brisbane area. Um, I'd probably say about another six or eight. Um, but there are investigations being carried out by regional police, as I said before, uh, in the uh, the Emerald area yesterday, um, uh, and that, that person that person was charged. Um, uh, Townsville have, have conducted investigations up there, and uh, the Cairns Drug Squad also. And I know that the Sunshine Coast and the Mackay areas also have um, a number of lines of inquiry too. Dangerous are these drugs? Look, as I said before, anything that you actually don't know what it contains, it, you know, should set an alarm bell straight away. Um, I certainly wouldn't ingest anything that uh, that I didn't know what, what what was made. And and recently, we've had advice from our forensic chemists that have analysed um, synthetic drugs ta in tablet form and in powder form. They've contained pesticides, crushed glass, um, you know, extremely dangerous for human consumption. So uh, I really can't emphasise enough that, you know, don't ingest something that you don't know what it contains, you know. How, many, uh, how much has been, how much product has been seized today on the Gold Coast and in Brisbane? Uh, just over 1.8 kilos and uh, 172 uh, tablets. What about the sale of these products online? Is there much police can do to combat that? A number of the premises we visited today are people that have been marketing it online and uh, have certainly had... Uh, a number of marketing strategies there too that um, that support the fact that they know that they're um, they're potentially uh, dangerous or have hypnotic um, side effects. Are they mostly from Australian online? Oh, online, online, as you know, it's yeah. it's uh, you know, how long is a piece of string? So you you could sell them from anywhere and put them in the post. You know, that's basically what it comes in. And we work very closely with um, Australian Customs and also with uh, Australia Post and this and the Australian Federal Police. And we have uh, had some some uh, significant seizures as a result of those um, those partnerships we've got. Why do you think synthetic drugs are becoming more common? Uh, look, obviously, um, you know, there's people out there that that basically um, uh, set about to uh, produce drugs for uh, for money or for uh, their own uh, um, interests, and um, they're basically can be they, they're basically changing the structure of them to avert or to get around different legislation and provisions. It's something that the police and um, and uh, the attorney general's department uh, work closely with, and also our other industry partners. We work closely with the monitor. Uh, we need to find a fine line between banning legitimate substances that people use in everyday life or in in businesses, and um, banning substances that are uh, diverted to, um, to to the illicit drug trade. To buy. No, no. As a matter of fact, there's, uh, there's been a lot of money made out of this, as you would have seen uh, from the fellow that was on the TV show the other day. Um, and some of these substances here are, are sold for two, I would, I would triple the price of what cannabis would be, at least. You know, between twenty and thirty dollars a gram. So, 
if you look at the 100 kilos we've seized uh, uh, so far, there's, there's a lot of money there. Uh, have they been easier for kids to get their hold on, to get, to get their hands on? Is that why people are turning to them? Or? Look, um, I can't really say that definitively. Um, obviously, the online, online marketplace is something that uh, young people are obviously very active in. Um, and that's a strategy that uh, is used by um, um, some criminals involved in illicit drug trade. Uh, so certainly, um, you know, the online marketplace makes uh, makes things uh, a lot more accessible than having to drive to a store or, or um, you know, let your fingers do the walking for, for a matter of that. Have there been any other sort of um, target areas before schoolies for the drug squad? Well, look, um, we've, as I said before, uh, we're working closely with the regional police and uh, we're not just looking at... Gold Coast. We're looking at Queensland. We want to keep the, the whole Queensland community safe. Certainly, the Gold Coast is um, is, is very timely at the moment. That the, you've got the schoolies event coming up. You have uh, fifty thousand young people attending there, and that's that's been a priority, and uh, it always will be for police. But um, uh, we, we we look after the whole community of Queensland.